Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Oh, very humid air still in place, and that will eventually fuel some heavier showers down the road, though. And Doppler radar for now, not finding any precipitation. We've overlaid the current visibilities, and while most areas the visibility is fine, we're getting some tip-off now that it will be coming down. You take a look at places like Newport, uh, where the visibility is down to only a mile and just a couple of miles out across the uh, lower Cape and the islands, so low clouds and fog likely everywhere. As far as precipitation, overnight tonight. Probably not much as far as the amount, though a little bit of mist and drizzle uh, just before sunrise tomorrow morning. You see the clouds streaming and temperatures have been holding in the upper 60s all night long. It will stay mild and muggy and staying in the upper 60s throughout most of the overnight. We do have a flood watch in effect, which starts tomorrow afternoon and goes through Saturday. During this time period, one to two inches of rain possible. So there may be some urban flooding, some street flooding in any of the downpours that uh, come on by. So we'll monitor the situation closely. Watch means just that, the potential of watching for the possibility of some street flooding. Notice on the Doppler radar, most of the showers that we had today have lifted up into northern New England. Still plenty of cloud cover, and there's still plenty of moisture on the bottom of your TV set off the mid-Atlantic coastline. And it will ride up the eastern seaboard. And the reason why the winds at all levels of the atmosphere from the ground all the way up to the top of the atmosphere, blowing counterclockwise, what we call an upper level low. So it's going to transport a lot of tropical moisture into New England, and that means periods of showers at times uh, they'll be heavy. So get in real close, take a look at the future cast starting off at 11 o'clock this evening, showing the uh, cloudy skies, the temperatures in the upper 60s. Here we are tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. This little light area of green, especially near the south shore, represents a little bit of mist and some drizzle. But watch how it becomes more active during the afternoon. Now, this is 12 o'clock, the flecks of yellow and orange indicating some downpours at that time. Temperatures in the lower to middle 70s. We advance things to about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Around this time, the kids coming home from school, uh, some heavier showers, temperatures in the uh, lower 70s, and then by Friday evening at around 8 o'clock, still painting some rain and some downpours and temperatures in the 70s. Now, the high school football games tomorrow evening, the weather may be a significant factor, so stay tuned. Overnight tonight, just low clouds, fog, and some mist. Temperature by 5 o'clock in the morning dropping off to around uh, 66 degrees. A change of seasons begins tomorrow morning at 5.04 as the calendar version of autumn officially arrives. Just summer flew right on by. Tomorrow morning, waking up to low clouds and fog. As far as the precipitation intensity, it's really not that heavy. It's just very light showers, mist and drizzle, at least to start the day, 66 to 71. But during the afternoon, it starts to come down a little hotter, a little heavier, looking at temperatures between a 70 and 75. So while uh, the morning commute will have some fog and mist, the evening commute, the rain will actually be heavier. There could be some minor street flooding. It's not great on the bay. Poor visibility in the rain. Winds out of the south and southeast at around 5 to 15. Seven day outlook because this weather system is so slow moving uh, unsettled conditions extend into the weekend as well. There's your rain for tomorrow. Showers in the forecast both Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures in the mid 70s catch a little bit of a break on Monday and then more showers though not a washout Tuesday and Wednesday scattered stuff. Uh, daytime highs continue to be generally in the mid 70s and overnight lows in the 60s. So a slow go tomorrow especially during the afternoon. You can track all this wet weather the heavy rain uh, with our Channel 12 app through iTunes on your iPhone or on your Android smartphone as well. So uh, kind of a slow go here. So take it easy, especially coming home tomorrow night. All righty, Tony.